Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll teach you how to make this exact render in Blender but I'll also teach you how to make abstract renders in general. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render, which is the best render by far, and then click X to delete the default cube. Then go into Create and add a monkey, and then click S to scale it up, and then we need to add some subdivisions. So go into the modifiers, click Add Modifier, and add a subdivision surface modifier. That increase the amount of subdivisions to uh, 6, and uh, then click Smooth Shading in the tools. Now the second modifier I'm going to add is the Displace modifier. And then add a, a new texture. And then we need to go into the texture settings. So all you really have to do to get the uh, sort of abstract look to your uh, models is to add the Displacement modifier to the model and then play around with the textures. So you can see the cloud texture and uh, the many other types and just uh, play around with the settings. I think I'm going to use the uh, distorted noise and then instead of Blender Original I will change it to a Cell Noise and then change the distortion to 4.5 and then change the size to uh, 2 then let's select the lamp to get some uh, proper lighting in the scene. So right click to select and then change it into a sun, change the size to 1 and then click use nodes and increase the strength to 7. Okay, and then click G to uh, grab the sun and R to rotate. I also want to make the background a little bit darker. So just change the background a bit, and then if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. And this is what it looks like in rendered view, and I might make the background even darker. And let's add a material for the model. So I'll change it to a glossy material, and then change the roughness to 0.1. Now, what color you add to the model obviously doesn't matter, but if you want the exact same color, you can just copy the RGB coordinates that I'm writing in right now. So uh, those are the values for this exact color. Okay, so let's uh, use the camera. So click numpad 0 to uh, look through the camera. And I click Shift F to use the fly cam. And you move around with W, A, S, and D, just like in a video game. And you can turn gravity on and off by clicking Tab. Okay, and shift set to go into rendered view to see what it looks like. Now to go into the render settings, select the camera icon, increase the resolution quality to 100%, and I would set the sample value to maybe 300. And then for the performance, I would set it to 500 if you have a GPU. If not, just leave it at 64. And then also turn on the noising to remove the noise in the render. And then click render to render out the full image. Now I speeded up this part, but it's probably going to take a few minutes on most computers. So uh, let's save the image before I end the tutorial. And give it a name. And then click enter to save it. And that's all for this tutorial. I'll post a new tutorial very soon. Thanks for watching and subscribe.